Remember that game where you ferry animals across the sea to die? <laughs> let me, let me TLDR this game for you. You play Stella. Who is this girl? She has a boat. You explore the world, you travel everywhere. You meet and befriend animals who are coming to the end of their lives and you care for them and you give them rooms on your ferry and you cart them across the sea to the afterlife. Noah's Ark meets Animal Crossing. Yeah, uh, the Ark's not really saving the animals. It's just, it, it's, it's facilitating their death. <laughs> Excited for the adorable yet morbid animal stream. Look who it is. What a surprise. Spirit fairer. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Who's <laughs> this Daffodil? Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands and bring them, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. <laughs> Already game of the year. 100% in love with that bill, by the way. It's me. It's Gwen. See that boat over there? Oh man, I'm going to make this boat so pretty. So you can customize your, your ferry. You can Ooh. add rooms onto it. Um, make it how you want to make it. I'm very excited for that. <laughs> so regal! Yes! <gasps> Adorable! There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Ooh. Yes, I need to meet Albert. Oh, wow! So we've got this like whole map that we can... Oh! Excellent. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Look at this little bed that we have! Excuse me? Accidental fishing? Uh, oh my god. Hello, sir. Let's just call this a loan. Ah, because he's a loan jerk! You know we always joke about the construction here? Well, I do now. Don't worry, we're still working on it. Oh, we got two old shoes and an old carpet. Yes! Everybody's welcome in the guest house. You are correct. I love everything about this. All right, uh, we want to build a kitchen. <gasps> Why do you have corn kernels in your pocket, Gwen? Why do you have pockets? Uh, look, look at Daffodil. Look at Daffodil! Uh, we can build both a garden and a field. Field here. And then uh, garden, we still need lightning in a ball, so. Beautiful. Anyway, there's only one place where you could possibly find what we need. Theodore! Please let Theodore be a chipmunk. Mm. It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and autocrit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? Ah! <laughs> Whoever this is? This character? Actually, best character. I am coming back for you, sir. I'm sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. Oh, bless, bless all of you. A stroll a day keeps the doctor away, which reminds me, I haven't been to the doctor in forever. Oh no! <laughs> ah! Look at his little smile! Tomner can get in the bin! Look, he 
sticks his little tongue out. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at his wee sad face! Well, anyway, see his upstairs crew forever! <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Look at him go. Now you can plant seeds in there. Give it a go. I shall, indeed. Oh, don't ask my word for it, though. My garden knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. What? Let's cook that. Look how fast that cooks! Popcorn! Barkensheim Creek discovered. Oh! Great! You're here! Listen, I, I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. It just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands, I swear. I've been experimenting. I've already to squeeze a little bit of citrus on these wild fruit. Now it's just berries with no twist. Unless. It's just down there, in the water. I do it myself, but I have all these pulpy fruits to take care of. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach almost feels empty. Maybe I could even help out aboard your ship. Uh, with cooking, fishing, and uh, building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's just go to your boat. This boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion! Surprise? Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights and the sea with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Oh god! It's my frunkle! I'll hug you. Oh! <laughs> it's so precious. He please the foot. Hey, we can double jump. Oh, you know what that means? You know what that means, boys? Let's go. He gave me such a fright. A cat. He looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh, yes, yes, it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean. Stella, is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. And is that your boat over there at sea? You've came to rescue me again, I see. <sighs> it's a snake in a robe. Can we make a garden then? Uh, b -b -b yes, we can build that garden. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden and try playing that piece to your crops. Also, their request is called Jiving Chives. Their request is called Jiving Chives. <gasps> Sorry? I love it. <laughs> uh, uh, hello, whimsical lad. I'm immensely chipper to see a dynamic young lady being so hard at work. I love mushrooms, but I don't like mushroom soup. I don't know if I like mushroom soup. Also, let's get the intrepid order. <gasps> Look at our big old boat. Anyway. Um, I heard they just fired an employee at the popcorn factory. He was a good worker, but 
I found him sleeping on the cob. Ah! I'm counting on you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your old uncle to sleep on the deck, right? I love it. Can we talk about the fact that Gwen sleeps in a face mask with cucumbers on her eyes? We'll need to go and uh, find more wood anyway. We are actually so bad at this. Holy heck. I'm gonna hug you. 